serpent stone. I'm assuming that's something we need later. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Miox Fu. And last time... Last, last time, what did we do? Well, we checked a lot of places that I wasn't sure if we were going to find things or not. <laughs> like, we checked where up on the clack... On the clock tower. <laughs> we checked up on the clock tower. We checked up... We, we did get the spade key, and we did get a uh, lighter for our efforts. Uh, and... Actually, I'm going to keep the lighter. And we're going to go check out to see what the lighter can do in the briefing room. See if we're going to get a gem from that. Like... Well, I would think we would. Or whether we're going to get something well, entirely different. Completely possible. And we can get the other gem quite easily. And go find out what the gems are actually going to give us. Hmm. Would it be possible to run around these guys? I don't think so. Oh. Whoa, they noticed me. <laughs> All right. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Come on, come on, buddy. Time to time to get down. Okay, good. No more no more guys over here. But the next room is gonna be filled with them, isn't it? This is where they burst in. Oh, oh, jeez. Didn't even see you, because I'm in the way. Three, four... That did not hit you. Oh no, you're dead, that's why. Alright. Two, three... I like that I actually have a count for them now. I actually have an idea of how many shots it'll take to kill them. Alright, that's the last guy we need to worry about. Let's get in there, use that lighter, and find what we can find. Also, it's kind of weird that they're throwing zombies later at Claire that I would have ex I would have found fu earlier with uh, Leon, like that that room at the bottom of the stairs, right outside the uh, photography room. Yes, we'll take the red gem. Would have been filled with zombies from the get-go with Leon, but it wasn't... It had, there were no zombies when we first didn't went in with Claire. Just check and make sure there's nothing else that I missed. So... I don't know, it's... it's... different. It does feel like a whole nother game, which is cool. I see you. I'm not going that way. I'm not foolish. I can go the roundabout way to get the other gem. And then we'll be right next to where we need to go to put them in. Well, we have to go across the second floor, I guess, but it's not that big of a deal. Sorry, I was accidentally hitting X. Oh, man. I'm just avoiding the inevitable. That's really what it is. I don't want to go back into that room that... goes above the... officer's offices. Because I don't want to have to go back and see whether... See whether the big creepy guy's there. And yes, I know people have been calling him Mr. X, but I don't know him as Mr. X yet. So I'm gonna keep calling him the big creepy dude. I don't even know if he's called Mr. X in the game, or whether that's just... Well, we don't know what the guy's called, so we're gonna call him Mr. X. <laughs> sort of like the G-Man from the Half-Life series. Although I think his character model was called G-Man, wasn't it? So that's why people took that uh, name for him. 
Yeah, we need to go this way. Okie dory. I have a sneaking suspicion that that creepy hallway with the boarded up doors where we're going to eventually end up going with Claire. Oh, um, I have a, a sneaking suspicion that that's where Sherry went, that she crawled under that door. I don't want to go there. So even since we saw it with Leon, I didn't want to go there. Because that just, ugh. That just has a really bad foreboding look to it. All right, Misters, Misters, Caesar, Nero, Augustus, whatever your names are. Let's get you into place. There we go. That's one of them. Because I have a feeling that it either goes to that... Yeah, no, I have a feeling it goes to that... That room with the blood seeping out from underneath it. I don't want to go there. <laughs> Who would? Does not seem like such a nice place. No, no. Back there, Claire. Get back there and do what I told you to do. Like a nice video game character. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and we can go get another key. I think that's what was behind there, wasn't it? No, it was a it was a plug. That's right. It was uh I think the queen plug. So that means we'll be getting something else. Uh, it seems to be sealed from the other side as the as though something is resting against the door. That's all I can think of. The door is blood soaked and it won't be opened. All I can think of is that there's a body laying against it, which is more unsettling than pretty much anything else. <laughs> we just can't go into a room because it's wedged shut with a body. Such a delightful picture, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I hope nothing. Oh no, we deal. We dealt with a liquor already in that room, so we don't have to worry about anything else coming out of the sky, light, and giving us trouble. Should be just a walk in the park, shouldn't it? Well, it should be. It's probably not going to be. I'm expecting terrible, terrible things to happen just as soon as we walk out. Actually, it'd be pretty nice if the C4 was in there, so we could use it right across the hallway on that goddamn wall that won't blow open to grenade launchers for some godforsaken reason. <laughs> Man. I remember when there were liquors in this hallway. Those were good times. <laughs> well, not good times per se, but they were they were better times. When all that was the that was all I had to worry about. <laughs> oh good, no new enemies. Just making sure I didn't lose at, or miss anything. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Lovely necklace for this time of year, dear. Alright, here we go. Cutscene. I thought my game had frozen for a second because the audio cut, but... And what are you? You're blue, I can tell that. I'm assuming C4. Please? Blue stone. What the heck is the blue stone? No, wrong button again. Half of an animal is etched on the stone fragment. Well, it still is a plug puzzle, so far as I can tell. Oh. 
it's so quiet, I'm still expecting something to fly out of the ceiling and give me a hard time. <laughs> hey, if something wasn't giving me, a, giving me a hard time, it wouldn't be fun. It would just be routine, daily, let's go through a dilapidated police department and put some things together. Wouldn't it? So, I'm not really complaining. I'm just, I don't know. Sometimes I would like to just walk through the park innocently, taking that grenade launcher back, I'm not foolish. Alright, map time. Uh, let's see. I think we've opened every single door on this level. Yes. We have not, however, opened every single door on this level because- Oh, we have a diamond key, that's why. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. There's two things we can do with the diamond key. Neither one of which is going to be easy. We can either assault a group of zombies, clutter- cl her cluttered. Um... No, cluttered close together. Huddled close together, even. Or you can attack another group of zombies that are huddled close together. Both of which are gonna give Claire a pretty hard time. So I'm gonna save. Because <laughs> I do not have any... Illusions of grandeur. I don't have any illusions that I'm gonna make it out of this unscathed. Or even well off in the health department. <laughs> I might even take a second healing item because that's how... No, I'm not gonna take a second healing item. That would be a bit too much, maybe. But I am gonna save because I don't think we're gonna be getting out of this very well off. Yes, yes, overwrite. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with me, Oxfu, and, well, it's gonna get more exciting. Because we've got a key, we've got a gun, we've got a couple of guns, actually, and we were, we've run out of places to backtrack. So tune in next time for another exciting episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2. Take it easy.